Yo, didn't I tell y'all this was going to happen? Didn't I tell y'all weeks ago this was going to happen? The locks literally wiped the floor with the dip set. It was, it was worse than I even imagined. And let me tell you guys why. Because, number one, I said this a couple weeks ago. The locks have been doing music longer. They have a catalog from Bad Boy, Rough Riders, D-Block, the guest appearances, the B-sides, the mixtape cuts, the bars. I mean, they have too much for Dipset, man. They have substance. You can, At the end of the day, and when they perform, it was chemistry right there. The Brotherhood was there. And see, Jada Kiss, he was the MVP. Because he came out there saucy, talking trash, talking greasy. It was entertaining. And you could tell that it rattled Cam because this is what happened with Dipset. Two things that went wrong with Dipset. Number one, Cameron, his energy was everywhere. It's like he didn't even really want to be there. He just like, it looked like to me, he was just doing that for the bag. Because the chemistry was way off. And the reason why he started really getting a little hype because Jay the Kiss was out, outshining him. And you know Harlem niggas and their egos. They don't want to be outshined. So that's where Cam started doing some of the songs from his set. But the locks had better stage present. They, they had a better switch over with songs. The Dipper set, they did their songs, their, their monster hits, but see, this was the problem here. Those songs sound good for a certain period. Some of them songs sounded good for a certain period. It didn't transition well today. Like, you listen to Ballin', you listen to songs like I Really Mean It, it sound like for a different period of time. Whereas you put on a song like The Benjamins, we going to make it. F you. You could play them songs today. So. The main entertaining part about what's crazy was. Styles and Jim didn't really hardly go at it like that. It was basically Jada Kids versus Cameron. And Cameron being a prideful guy. He wasn't trying to be outshine. So. You could tell there was some tension there between those two. It was a mutual respect there, but it was a New York blood sport type of thing going on with that. And what really messed them up, Dipset had potential. But see, when Juels, when he messed up right here, he pulled a John Starks on the team. He went ahead and challenged Jay the kids. Yo, y'all niggas, y'all ain't got no chick song. Jada hit them news with the rotation. Then, when Cameron tried to hit them, you ain't got no hits. Jada hit them with the hits. All about the Benjamins, the Honey Joint, Jenny from the Block. I think they played the Jenny from the Block Joint. I mean, then they hit, then Styles hit them with the Weed Smoke Joint, Good Times. It was too much for them. Whereas, the Diplomat's whole set seemed unrehearsed. Their stage presence was off. Freaky Zeke was just doing some. I don't know what he was doing. He was basically the Dipset mascot. What they should have done was they should have brought Hell Rail. They should have brought J.R. Ryder as some surprises. They should have brought Master P from Bout About It. They had some hit songs, but it didn't transition. I knew when they did I'm Ready in comparison to F.U., it was going to be a long night. I'm ready is a hot song. Don't get it twisted. But for an aggressive song, you got to meet it with an aggressive song. And the Dips didn't really have enough aggressive songs. They had enough bangers, but aggressive songs. And see, Jada Kiss, he just showed out. He was the star of the night. He was the MVP. Cameron being the type of guy, he wasn't trying to be upstaging it. He tried to freestyle. And he bombed on that. It was terrible. The crowd even started to boo. My God. I told y'all it was going to happen. I told y'all. Y'all go listen to me one day. 
shoot. But overall, this was probably the best versus to me. I know we said this many times, but this one here felt more like a battle. It went more competitive. It wasn't really on some friendly tip. It was very competitive. It was, they had Michael Buffer. They had like the octagon type ring going on. I like the, the big fight feel that it had. So, nevertheless, I want to salute both groups. It was a fun night for hip hop. The only thing I didn't like was those niggas staying on the stage all day and it kind of ruined the flow. But overall, I enjoyed this one here. And this is where more people should treat this as a competition instead of just playing songs. This is what a versus should be like. So, this is King Eric signing out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Holla.